What is going on guys? How are y'all? I got in our beer video, but before we get into the beer, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get into the beer, man. Today I got a 10.5% ABV Imperial Stout from Hot Butcher, and it's called Mobula. I could be pronouncing it wrong, but it's Mobula. I actually looked up what a Mobula was or is. Um, I assumed it was like a manta ray. Apparently, manta ray is a subspecies of rays and they're like they can grow up to be like ginormous and mobulas are just like a smaller version of them or a smaller species subspecies of rays and smaller uh, they can grow up to like 17 feet wide or whatever so I mean smaller is sure I guess but it's still freaking massive anyways it's a Imperial Stout brew with chocolate coconut and almonds 10.5% ABV, like I mentioned, there is no canning date, but today is September 27th, man. And here are the tasting notes. I'll give you a quick 360 of the can as well. The can looks cool, but also somewhat scary at the same time, just because knowing that, you know, this thing exists in the uh, depths of the sea or ocean, whatnot. Um, I don't know, man, it's a little disturbing. Let's get this into a can, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Um, Pretty excited, man. I haven't had a stout, honestly. Oh, no, I had a very aged stout a couple weeks ago. Um, just because I was craving for one. But I, I picked this one today because it's, like, gloomy and it's all fall-like outside. I mean, I, I don't think it's quite fall yet. It could be. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's wet and rainy. Your typical Pacific Northwest type weather, man. So I figured an Imperial Stout today is... Uh, very very fitting so I pour with about one finger of head pipe would have developed more ahead if I poured a little uh, more aggressively but nonetheless it was actually pretty creamy pretty um, dense when it was here but it looks like it's dissipating quite quickly I can actually smell the almonds and the coconut it smells like a mounds bar I'm not gonna lie it smells like a damn mounds bar man but the head was this nice dark mocha cappuccino head man dissipated quite quickly as you can see here and the beer itself, the color is pitch black. Let's put it to the light. Yeah, that bright ass light in front of me doesn't even penetrate the uh, beer whatsoever. It's just like a jet black beer, man. Uh, yeah, looks like a freaking delicious stout. It also smells like a delicious stout. Now I haven't even got the aroma yet. Uh, but yeah, let's get in on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Jesus, dude. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, the almond. I didn't think almonds was going to come through super strong. It smells like hella almonds, like just mad, 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 mad almonds. It's crazy. Oh my God, it's like almonds and super toasted coconut. I'm trying to think of some, um, some toasted coconut uh, snack that I have often, not often, but like I've had before multiple times. It's like something coconut, it's like coconut chips, not coconut chips. I don't know what the hell it is, but it smells just like that. And that stuff was hella good. It was like chocolate. <clears throat> chocolate and like coconut or some shit. I don't quite remember, but it was like mad mad. Oh no, it's cluster, it's granola cluster bar balls. Cluster balls from like Costco, bro. So like it's, um, I think it's chocolate, but it's like granola cluster balls with like maybe chocolate chips, but for sure toasted coconut uh, flakes around it or ribbons, I guess. This smells exactly like that with the added um, almonds. I, I don't remember it had almonds or not. Uh, it might have had almonds, but this smells just like that. Maybe a tad sweeter. Yeah, that almond smells ridiculous. Definitely a, like a dessert beer smelling, uh, dessert smelling, dessert stout type of uh, beer. It smells like a dessert type stout. There we go. Yeah, just ridiculous. Sweet, but maybe hopefully not too overly sweet. Uh, toasted coconuts, almonds, maybe even toasted almonds, honestly. Uh, what else do I get in here? For sure chocolate, like, like that's a that's a given. I think there's actually chocolate in here. Imperial, yeah, brew with chocolate. So yeah, milk chocolate for days. Not getting any like dark chocolate bitterness or anything like that at all. It's, honestly, it just smells like a Mounds bar on like steroids. Or you, maybe you melt it in the microwave. So like all the aromas are like just blending and just like uh, coming off of the Mounds bar, I guess. Uh, it just, it just smells amazing. But let's get into it, cheers. My initial thought was when I went, oh my god, you know, 
that was not because of the flavor that was because of the mouthfeel it is i was hoping it would be thicker or on the thicker side of imperial stouts uh, it'll go really really well with that whole mounds bar type deal and it definitely is a thicker stout man i am very 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 happy with that and just from that first i want to say it is for sure a dessert stout it is sweet is it overly sweet i don't know but it's definitely sweet and i don't know quite yet just because that was my first sip and towards the end there i do get chocolate bitterness i do get some slight coffee bitterness there but not overly coffee bitterness there's no sourness to it so there's like not like green sour coffee i suppose <clears throat> that flavor is just very off-putting to me uh it's not always bad but usually it's in thinner stouts in my opinion or at least my in my experience not in my opinion in my experience uh this is for the first sip, amazing. Like it has all the right flavors. It actually has some alcohol burn. I, I'm getting that now. 10% ABV. I totally expected that, man. Let's go for another sip. God damn, it's like so fudgy, so thick, so like just coats your mouth so well with this nice, thick, Mounds Almond Joy bar. Like, I don't know if I said Almond Joy earlier. I think I might have just said uh, Mounds or maybe one of the other, but it's like both of them combined. I think, is there a, is that a thing where you have like a Almond Joy and Mounds bar combined? May, I, I have no idea. But it's sort of like that. I would say it's leaning. Let me take it a step there, quiet. Before I say it's Almond. No, I think it's a pretty good 50-50 split uh, between like the Almond Joy and the Mouse Bar, man. You get more, definitely more Almond Joy up front and it fades out into this nice like milk slash, I'm going to say, very, very subtle hint of dark chocolate and the coconut, the toasted coconut definitely comes through towards the end there. And then it fades out into that nice coffee bitterness. Uh, it's just, I'm going to say, it's a great, great, great dessert stout man great dessert stout especially for a day like this i'm not sure you, uh, you barely see it's dark out it's wet it's raining uh just a perfect perfect i think stout to be drinking next to like a fireplace a fire pit things like that just be chilling watching a movie or whatever it is man i think it's just like that perfect like comforting uh beer comforting comforting style of beer i don't mean i i don't even know uh, what to call this like the style of beer maybe like stouts are comforting I mean they're like comfort beers in the winter uh, this takes it to a whole nother level with the whole dessert and the decadent fudgy oil sludge like mouthfeel and just everything about this beer is man it's, it's just damn good I mean I, I like dessert stouts I like pastry stouts dessert stouts whatever you want to call them um, some of them are way too damn sweet and I get it, it's pastry style. This is sweet, it is not overly sweet, man. I... And the aroma is ridiculous. One of the best aromas in a dessert style or just a style in general that I've had in a while, maybe maybe top five, top three, I don't even know, but it's, it's, it's definitely that. The, the aroma is amazing, man. Just the, you, the, the aroma that gives off of just toasted almonds or almonds and toasted coconuts for sure for sure toasted coconuts it's just it's crazy um yeah anyways highly recommend if you couldn't tell from you know my uh, review of the beer um yeah hot butchers mobula 10 half percent abv imperial style brew with chocolate coconut and almond and uh, they definitely delivered on all three of those flavors, man. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give a thumbs up, comments, questions, leave below. And as always, dreaming dreams will be all things possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers.